Hey, thanks, Darla and Alfred. Your news today begins with Senate Bill 392, which went into effect on August 1st, introduced significant updates to regulations over Louisiana contractors. News 10's Dawson D'Amico spoke with the Licensing Board for Contractors Chairman, who talks about the new regulations for home improvement contractors. Louisiana State Licensing Board for Contractors Chairman Lee Mallet says the passing of Senate Bill 392 not only adds more regulations to home improvement contracts, it also protects the homeowner and maintains high quality industry standards. Why did they, it took me 15 years to get it done? It was fought so hard. It would really, what, what helped get it done was the storms. The new law reduces the cost threshold for when certain licenses are required for construction and home improvement. Any work over $50,000 will require a residential license. Home improvement licenses no longer allow contractors to perform any work critical to the building's integrity. This ensures major structural changes are handled only by fully licensed professionals with better regulation and oversight. They should have never been allowed to do that unless they wanted to become licensed residential contractors, be tested and, and go through the CIs, do the, be a real licensed contractor. They were, they were squirting the law by using this little home improvement registration. So the law basically lowered the threshold and they can no longer build any structure that includes the things I've just said. Mallet says homeowners will be able to steer away from fraudulent and underqualified contractors because of the new law. It makes us look bad in our trade. Those guys need to get out of the business. They shouldn't be in the business. In my personal opinion, I want to get them out. I mean, if they want to be licensed contractors, they want to follow the law, they want to do what's right, great. But if you're not going to do that, go be something else. Mallet invites anyone who wants more insight to follow the Mallet Building's social media pages, where he delivers vital information involving everything you need to know about the industry. Dawson D'Amico, KLFY, News 10.